Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead, click on subscribe, and also click on the bell to receive all the updates and activities on this channel. So today we have a product review of this guy right here. It's the uh, Top Don Artie Link 201 Code Read Scanner. So full disclosure, Top Don reached out to me and essentially they, they send the scanner to me free of charge uh in exchange for my review they are not paying me for this review but they did send me the scanner free of charge if at the end of the review you like what you saw and you like the the, uh, the scanner go ahead check out the description of the video and there will be a link that will bring you out to the storefront on amazon where you can purchase it for yourself so why don't we go ahead and get this scanner hooked up to the car and we can review some of the options and features as well as some of the data that it can pull All right, so we have the scanner hooked up to the car. The car in question is a 2013 Chevy Cruze Eco 1.4 turbo with the six speed automatic. So this is actually the screen, even though it's hard to film on camera, um, when you're actually using it, it, it's not that bad. So as far as the options, what you're gonna see when you when the scanner is hooked up to the car, you can get into the uh, generic uh, OBD2 information, the IM readiness test, the setup information where you can set the language, you know, it's a measure, and then there's the, there's the about where it will tell you the what what uh, revision level of software that you're running. So the IM readiness test, essentially what that is, that basically will communicate back to the uh, your state inspection center to say whether the car is ready to be inspected, all right? So we're gonna get out of there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, go into the OBD2 test. And what it's gonna do is gonna communicate with the car. And then it's gonna give a summary of what it found. And we just hit okay. And then if you had a code present, you could read the code, you could erase the code. Um, I am readiness, data stream, freeze frame, O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, EVAP systems test, vehicle information where you can read the VIN number, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top of the list. And for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the uh, onboard monitoring, because this one is actually pretty handy. So we're gonna hit okay on that. So what this will tell you is it's gonna basically communicate with all the sensors that it can through whatever PID that it's reading, all right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to one of the more useful ones, which is, it's gonna tell you the, the misfire count on the cylinder. So what we can do is we hit okay on cylinder number one, and what it's gonna do is gonna read back to the uh, to the, uh, the ECU, it's gonna tell you any misfire counts and the status of passing. So we're gonna hit back. We're gonna do the same thing for number two, and that one's a pass as well. Is firing number three on cylinder number three. That one's a pass as well. All right, so what you guys are gonna see, everything's gonna be passing on this because right now the car is not running. But what we'll do is I just wanna give you a summary of what you're gonna see, and then we'll start the car, and then uh, we'll show you some, some live data. Um, but I wanted to show you what the information was without the noise level, because once the car is running, uh, you won't be able to hear as clearly. So we hit uh, escape escape again so then you have uh, actually we're gonna go back to onboard onboard monitoring and then so the other ones that you have are catalyst monitor variable uh, variable valve timing monitor evap monitor uh, one and two purge flow monitor sensor heater um, and back to the misfire information so what we're gonna do is Okay. So if we go down to data stream, data stream is actually pretty handy too because it'll actually give you data as a car is running. So we're gonna go to view all items. If you wanted to basically select um, multiple items or just singular items, you could basically check them off the list. Um, so right now you see that there's 10 elements in the data stream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, just so you can see that some see some of them. Actually, uh, there's actually 10 pages. It's not uh, only 10 items. It's actually 10 pages of items. 
So, you know, you can see uh, engine RPM, vehicle speed, manifold pressure, fuel pr rail pressure, uh, ignition uh, advanced timing, the intake air temperature, the absolute throttle position, the O2 sensor voltage on uh, sensor one and two, shows you some of the fuel trims, uh, time since the engine started, um, distance traveled. Fuel level indicator is basically tell you how much the gas is in the tank. Uh, number of warm ups, distance traveled since the last cleared. EVAP system, barometric pressure, the temperature of the uh, of the cat, we've got a converter, and then uh, relative throttle position, the ambient air air temperature. So I'll actually tell you the uh, t the temperature of the outside air, accelerator pedal, and everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the car, we'll go back into some of this information and then you can see uh, how the values will change and how we can actually view us some, uh, some live data on it. Okay, the car is now running. So what we'll go into, we'll go into the data stream again. All right, so you've seen the uh, the scanner in action. Um, for the price point, you really can't beat it. Um, if you look at the other reviews on my channel of similar scanners, um, what I like about this one is, uh, this one's actually a little bit different because you know, a lot of scanners in this price point, you hook it up and essentially the, the issue that you run into is the scanner is just kind of slow to respond as, you, as you're going through the, the menus. Whereas this one is actually pretty quick to respond. There's no lag or delay. It's pretty responsive uh, for what you're trying to do with it. Um, if there's anything I would change, it's this guy right here. It's the display. Because if you look at it, there's a lot of reflectiveness on the screen. And so what will happen is depending on the type of light that you're in, um, and the way it's it's tilted, sometimes the um, the screen is hard to read because of the reflectiveness on it. But for the for the price point that you're looking at, um, you really can't expect that much. But you know, at the end of the day, it does get the job done. So I would give this scanner a, a thumbs up. Um, if you like the scanner, go ahead and check out the description of this video, and you'll see the link that I'll bring you out to the storefront where you can purchase it on your own. So if there's any thoughts, questions, concerns, anything at all, go ahead and leave it in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great, have a great day.